Hello everybody and welcome back to the kitchen. Today I am testing the Givode slicer shredder attachment for KitchenAid. This product and I already got off on the wrong foot. This came pre-installed with one of the attachments. I wanted to try a different attachment. I could not figure out how to get these blades out. I, these instructions are not helpful and in fact wrong. It was my wife that figured out how to do it. So I thought I would demonstrate it for you to save you some trouble. In the manual, it looks like you just slide it in and it snaps in place. Not exactly true. Take the cylinder and make sure the wide part is facing the ground. Take one of the blades and one side has two tabs, the other has three tabs. Put the two tabs into the wide part, just kind of angle it in and then the three tabs will pop into place and that's it. Now to take it out, you do the reverse. Okay. The manual says slide it in, slide it out. That doesn't work. At least it wasn't clear to me, but now you know. Anyway, let's get this thing tested. I'm going to put blades in. I think this is the slicing blade. I wish these were labeled. I don't think they are. They should have numbers or, or something on them, but I don't see anything like that. I'm going to angle the, <laughs> angle the two tabs down. It's as easy as one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> no, it's not that hard but um, it's not obvious. All right, so the cylinder is now prepared with the slicing blade, I think. It's the only one it could be, really. I'm going to go and get my KitchenAid and I'll be right back. I've got the cylinder here, I've got the housing here. When you put this in, just make sure you hear a click like that and that's how you know it's not coming out. Now this is going to install just like every other KitchenAid accessory I assume. Yep. The manual says not to overload the hopper. It's the hopper is pretty large but it is divided in the middle with some support beam here and it looks like you might be able to take this part off but the plunger has a space for that beam to pass through. So I don't think you're supposed to. If I interpret the instructions correctly, it's telling me to use speed six or eight for this. I'm going to try six and see what happens. Looks successful to me. I'm going to remove these blades and put in a different set. And again, see if I remember how to do this. I tell you, and I'm really nervous because these are razor sharp blades that I'm playing with. If there's no chance of me cutting my thumb, I would be far more aggressive with this. But, uh, oh, I have an idea. I have some knife gloves that will hopefully protect my fingers from these blades and maybe I'll be have more confidence when removing them. Okay. So I'm pushing out from pushing out from, okay, that's it. You push out, put your thumbs inside and push the bottom out. Let's try it again. Yeah. So that's all there is to it. And it helps if you have some gloves for confidence. Well, like I said, these blades are not labeled. I am going to use what I think is a julienne cut for these carrots. We'll see what happens. Okay, we are inserting from the bottom. It's like I have to learn every time. We're gonna insert, okay. Well, I, I had it upside down. The tab goes, the two tabs go to the top. 
and we're inserting that in first and then the three tabs pop into place. Do the same on this side. All right, I feel good about that. Pushing this back in. Snaps into place. Put this here. Tighten the screw. All right, we're good. And what speed do I need for carrots? I'm guessing it probably be about, yeah, it looks like they're, they always say six to eight. So that makes it easy. Now I'm not going to peel these carrots. I'm not actually going to use these. So I'm going to put this on six. Oh, I forgot the bowl. <laughs> All right. And they're done. And I guessed right. These are, well, they're shredded, but they, they have a squarish, they look like Julian carrots. This, this would be fine. I'd call this Julian. So yeah, I think this works well. <laughs> it's uh, the, the hardest part is trying to figure out how to get those blades in and out. Let's do it. I'm going to do it one more time just to prove that I've learned something today. So in order to get these the cylinder out, there's a little plunger on the side. You push that in and that releases the cylinder. All right, so now I'm going to push. <laughs> I'm going to push out from the from the top. I'm going to push that out, or do I push it in? I'm going to push. It <laughs> it's probably easier than this. Uh, maybe if you uh, learn faster than me, this is an easier process. Okay, there we go. So stick your thumbs in and push out at the bottom and try not to cut yourself. I'm serious, get some of these cutting gloves and you'll feel a whole lot better. So, G-Vode Slicer Shredder works great. A little tricky with these things, but you'll figure it out. And you can always come back and watch the video if that'll help. Maybe make the instructions better, G-Vode. Thanks for stopping by.